Have you ever wished you could activate your phone instantly without needing to insert a tiny plastic SIM card? What if I told you that Verizon now lets you switch devices, add lines, or even travel internationally, all without touching a single piece of hardware? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving deep into how to get your Verizon eSIM QR code in 2025 and how to activate your eSIM step by step. Whether you're a new Verizon customer, switching from another carrier, or just upgrading to a newer phone, this guide will walk you through everything you need to know, from what an ESIM actually is to how to make the most out of its hidden benefits. Stick around until the end, because I'll also share expert tips on how to save time, avoid activation issues, and even unlock a few tricks that most Verizon reps won't tell you about. What is an ESIM? Let's start with the basics. The term ESIM stands for Embedded SIM. Unlike the traditional SIM card, that small chip you physically insert into your phone, the ESIM is built right into your device. It's a digital SIM that allows you to activate a cellular plan directly through your phone software without needing to handle a card. This means your phone can connect to your carrier in this case Verizon, using digital credentials stored securely inside the phone's hardware. So, no more losing SIM trays, no more waiting for a card to ship, and no more juggling multiple physical cards when traveling or managing work and personal numbers. eSIM technology isn't new, but it's becoming the new standard. Most of the latest smartphones, including iPhones from the iPhone 14 and later, Samsung Galaxy models like the S23 and S24 series, and even Google Pixels, now support ESIM as the primary or only option. The big idea behind ESIM is convenience and flexibility. You can download your mobile plan digitally in seconds. And if you ever want to switch carriers or add a new plan, you can do it all through your settings, often in just a few taps. What is the ESIM QR code? Now that you know what an eSIM is, let's talk about how it's actually activated. And that's where the QR code comes in. The Verizon eSIM QR code is a unique image that contains all the setup information needed to activate your line on Verizon's network. Think of it as a digital key. When you scan this code with your phone, it automatically downloads and installs your Verizon profile onto your device. You can get your Verizon eSIM QR code in a few different ways, depending on your situation. If you're a new customer, Verizon usually emails or displays your eSIM QR code after you complete your plan purchase online. If you're an existing Verizon user, you can generate the QR code directly from your My Verizon account or app. And if you're switching from a physical SIM to eSIM, Verizon can text or email you a direct activation link that works without even scanning a code. To activate, simply go to your phone's settings, then cellular or mobile network, tap add eSIM or add cellular plan, and scan the QR code using your camera. Within a few seconds, your phone should connect to Verizon's network. If your device supports dual eSIMs, you can even store multiple carrier profiles and switch between them easily. For example, keeping your Verizon line active while adding a local plan when traveling abroad. Differences between SIM card and Verizon ESIM. So, how exactly does eSIM differ from the traditional SIM card? And why are so many carriers, including Verizon, moving toward this digital approach? The first difference is physical versus digital. A SIM card is a removable chip, while an eSIM is built directly into the device's motherboard. There's nothing to insert, remove, or lose. The second difference is activation speed. Traditional SIM cards often require a store visit or mail delivery. With eSIM, activation can be instant. Scan the QR code, confirm, and you're connected within minutes. The third difference is flexibility. eSIM lets you store multiple carrier profiles on one device. For example, 
You can keep your personal Verizon plan and add a business number or an international carrier without swapping cards. The fourth difference comes down to security. ESIMs are much harder to clone or steal compared to physical SIMs. Since your line is tied to your phone's secure chip, it's far safer against SIM swap fraud, a growing issue for traditional cards. Finally, there's sustainability and convenience. eSIM eliminates the need for plastic cards, packaging, and shipping. It's faster, cleaner, and better for the environment. Not to mention less hassle when upgrading your phone. But that doesn't mean ESIM is perfect. Some users still prefer a physical SIM because it can be easily swapped between phones or used in devices that don't yet support ESIM technology. However, with Verizon's growing focus on digital activation, most new plans, especially for iPhone and flagship Android users, are now eSIM based by default. Advantages of ESIM. Now let's break down the biggest advantages of eSIM, especially for Verizon users in 2025. First, instant setup. You can activate your phone without waiting for shipping or visiting a store. Perfect for those upgrading devices or traveling abroad. Second, dual connectivity. With eSIM, you can use two numbers on one phone. For instance, your main Verizon line and a second line for work or travel. Third, easy switching. Want to try another carrier temporarily or move between plans? Just download the new carrier's ESIM profile. No hardware change required. Fourth, enhanced security. Because your line is encrypted in your phone's chip, SIM swap attacks are much harder to execute. And fifth, environmental benefits. eSIM eliminates tons of plastic waste from SIM cards and packaging every year. Verizon also offers smooth eSIM activation through their My Verizon app, which automatically detects compatible devices and provides instant download links, so you don't even have to handle QR codes if you don't want to. How to get and activate your Verizon eSIM Let's walk through the steps of getting your Verizon eSIM QR code and activating it properly. Check device compatibility. Make sure your phone supports eSIM. Most iPhones from the iPhone XR onward and recent Android flagships do. Sign into My Verizon. Open the app or visit the Verizon website. Select Activate or Switch Device. Choose the line you want to activate. Choose eSIM Activation. Verizon will either display a QR code or send an activation link. Scan the QR code. On your phone, Go to Settings, Arrow, Cellular, Arrow, Add Cellular Plan, and scan the QR code. Wait for activation. Within one to two minutes, your device should connect to Verizon's network. If you face issues, try restarting your phone or connecting to Wi-Fi during setup. And remember, if you're switching from another carrier, make sure your previous line is fully released before activating your Verizon eSIM. Tips to get the most out of Verizon eSIM. Here are a few extra tips to help you maximize the benefits of using Verizon eSIM. Keep a backup line. If your device supports dual eSIM, consider adding a second carrier for emergencies or travel. Use eSIM for travel flexibility. You can buy short-term eSIM data plans abroad without removing your Verizon line. Avoid activation delays. Always ensure your phone software is updated before scanning a new QR code. Leverage My Verizon app. It's the fastest way to manage eSIM settings and troubleshoot without calling customer support. Secure your account. Enable two-factor authentication to protect your Verizon line from unauthorized changes. To sum up, eSIM technology is transforming how Verizon users stay connected. Instead of waiting for a SIM card, you can now activate your phone instantly using a simple QR code, giving you flexibility, security, and convenience. In 2025, Verizon continues to lead the shift toward digital connectivity. Whether you're a new customer setting up your first plan, a traveler managing multiple lines, 
or a business user looking for reliability, Verizon's eSIM activation offers speed, stability, and total control over your device. If this video helped you understand how to get and use your Verizon eSIM QR code, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone switching to Verizon this year. And tell us in the comments, are you already using ESIM or are you still sticking with a physical SIM card? We'd love to hear your experience. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. And now it is the end of our episode today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mobile Service Center, and press like if you really like the video. See you in the next video.